footy fans, welcome to Bev's footy tips for the 2022 AFL preliminary finals. Some say this is the best weekend of footy, and I reckon they've got a pretty good case because the two prelims this year are set to be ripper dippers. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we do though, let's take a look back at my tips last weekend, my semi-final tips so I tipped Melbourne over the Brisbane Lions. And I tipped Collingwood over Fremantle. So just the one out of two. Let's now move on to my prelim final tips. Let's start with the first preliminary final taking place on Friday night at the home of footy, the MCG. It's Geelong taking on the Brisbane Lions at 7.50pm. This game set up to be a beauty, I reckon. Uh, Geelong, of course, have won their last 14 games. They had the weekend off last weekend after beating Collingwood by six points in the qualifying final to put themselves straight through to a preliminary final. They're taking on a Brisbane team who have been quite impressive in the last couple of weeks. I didn't expect them to do much this final series. I don't think I was the only one, but I was clearly wrong. They've been great the last couple of weeks in the way that they've won. They totally deserve to beat the Ds by 13 points last Friday night. I think it's fair to say if the Ds had have been more accurate and taken their chances in the first half especially, then maybe Melbourne might have gone on to win. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Brisbane was so good in the second half. They lifted their pressure. Melbourne couldn't go with them. They couldn't stand up to the pressure supplied by the Lions. And I think the Lions just wanted the win more. They were more hungry and they, as I said, deserved that win over Melbourne last week. Geelong, they've won four of the last five matches against Brisbane. That includes a 40-point win in the 2020 preliminary final. I think Brisbane might have went into that game favourites. It was at the Gabba. It was during the COVID year, but Geelong proved too good in that match. They've only met on the one occasion this season. It was back in round four, and the Cats, they only won by 10 points at GMHBA Stadium. It was actually quite a close game. But Geelong proved just too good by a narrow margin in the end. Look, I think the Brisbane Lions are capable of causing an upset in this match. But I can't tip them. I have to be with the Cats. They've been the best team all year. And I expect them to just be a little bit too strong for the Lions. I'm tipping the Cats by 17 points. I'm expecting a good game, though. Now we move on to the second preliminary final, and I think it's fair to say this match is the pick of the two. It's set to be an absolute cracker. Cannot wait to sit down and watch this game on Saturday. It's the Sydney Swans taking on Collingwood at 4.45pm, so a twilight fixture, and the match will be played in front of a sold-out SCG. That place is going to be rocking on Saturday. It's going to be producing some electric atmosphere. Cannot wait to listen to it through the speakers of my television. Of course, I know a lot of Collingwood supporters are making the trip over, and you mix that in with the Sydney Swans supporters. It is going to be an epic atmosphere. The Sydney Swans, well, they've had the week off after beating Melbourne in the qualifying final. They've won their last eight games, and they're taking on a Collingwood team who've only lost two of their last 15 games and they're coming into this game off the back of a pretty good win over Fremantle in the semi-finals by 20 points. The Pies kicked the first four goals of that match, and they never look like losing despite their inaccuracy. And that's what they can't do against the Sydney Swans. The Pies must take their chances in the match on Saturday. These two teams, they met recently in round 22. The Swans, they were comfortable winners by 27 points, but I reckon Collingwood would have learnt from that experience, and they'll be better from that experience, I reckon. They'll know how to play the SCG now. In fact, they've gone as far as to replicate the SCG dimensions at their own training ground, which I think will definitely help them play a lot better against the Swans this time round. I think this game could go either way. I think it's basically a 50-50 game, but I'm leaning towards the Swans especially given it's at the SCG and given what happened in round 22 and given the Swans' winning streak at the moment, I think the Swans might just be too good, but I'm not confident with that tip at all because Collingwood, they've been great to watch all season and they can win this game, no doubt about it. But I think the Swans are a slightly better outfit and I'm tipping them to win by a narrow eight-point margin. What a game it is going to be. Cannot wait for it. 
So there you go, footy fans. They are my tips for week three of the 2022 AFL finals. The preliminary finals. Cannot wait for the two games. I hope you enjoy them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And don't forget to press that subscribe button. Next week is grand final week. And I'll be uploading my Bev's footy tips grand final preview next Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, take care. Bye for now.